hello and welcome to the Geekmeter Studios tutorials. So if you are looking to integrate Crashlytics into your app, then this video is for you. As you know, Crashlytics are now part of Fabric and Fabric are the tools that you need to build the best apps. Basically, Crashlytics is one of the most powerful yet lightest weight crash reporting solution for your app. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to integrate Fabric into your application. It's very easy and almost automatic process to set up the Crashlytics and answers, which are some of the tools that you need to you know build the best app. So let's get started. So start a new Android application and uh, give it a name like in my case I am just using fabric example and click next again just select the minimum SDK and select next click next and click finish and uh, let me do some cleanup so I'll click on project and then navigate to app then SRC folder, then main, then Java folder, and I'll double click the main activity if it is not open. Now I'll head over to uh, this page. Uh, I'll provide the link in the bar, uh, in the description, and then I'll click the downloads, and it will ask my username and password. I'll sign in, sign in using my credentials, and then I'll click Android Studio, which is my IDE so it will provide me some screens that what i need to do i'll have to click on preferences then browse repositories and then i will have to search fabric for android and this is the process so let's go to uh, android studio and just click uh, preferences and uh, we will look for plugins and then browse repositories and then I'll uh, start typing fabric for Android so it will come up now you need to click the install plugin and it will ask me to uh, download and install now it will take a couple of minutes then it will ask to restart the Android studio to activate changes in the plugins so I'll click on restart and it will open up Android studio again So once the project is open you should see the there is a button there just click it and it will open this window uh, and just click in the sign in button so it will ask to select the account of your fabric account that you have created then select this and click next And it, it will show what are the kits available. Click on the Crashlytics first, which is a very lightweight and powerful crash reporting. So click install. Once it is installed, it will ask that uh, Fabric will make the following changes. And if you click apply, so it will automatically apply all the code into the project. You just need to um, build and run your application in order to uh, complete the process so so it will ask please build and run your application once launched we will verify Crashlytics is configured for your app so let's just uh, build and run this application and it will start the ABD Gradle build is finished and now it will install it into the AVD. It's quite slow, but you have to deal with it. You can build and run this application on your device itself. Once it is up, it will show. <coughs> you will have to uh, verify that Crashlytics is configured for uh, this app 
properly or not once it is uh, done so it will automatically transition from uh, this screen so crashlytics provided uh, some code examples like to force a crash it will throw an uncaught exception so i have what i have to do that there are three steps to do the same so i'll have to open activity underscore main dot xml and uh, paste the code there let's clean it up so actually what i at, what i'll do i'll uh, insert this code into content dot content underscore main so be, below this text view hello world i'll paste this code and it will uh, call a force crash crash method uh, on click on of this button i'll click this to copy and i'll move to main activity and just paste this method somewhere now i will have to uh, run this app and tap the button to cause a crash so let's uh, again run this application okay before that uh, let's go to this uh, fabric io our dashboard and select our app which is fabric example and uh, this crash should uh, appear there only so now again run this app so once the build is finished there should be a force crash button yes it is now tap it click on it so it will uh, throw the exception and uh, let's check whether uh, it report the reported this crash or not so wait for a couple of minute it should be there what I'll do, I'll again click on the Crashlytics in the left side panel. It is not showing. Okay, let's just select Crashlytics again. So here you go. So See the crash has been reported on this uh, dashboard so let's examine so you can see how easy it is to keep track on what's going on in the app when the app crashes it actually finds out the line number in your class which caused the crash in this case main activity Java class uh, and line number 42 has caused the crash you don't need to do much in order to install answers in your app for those of you who don't know, Answer is lightweight mobile analytics SDK and it gives you information about what your users are doing inside your app, where they are spending time, total session length, daily new users, daily active users, etc. So just click yes I want it and it will do all the magic. wait for a couple of minutes and here you go success so you can see how easy it is to incorporate crashlytics and answers in your app and uh, that's it thank you for watching